All right, what's going on guys? The Valley of Awesome here, and today I am here with Rocky. Here she is, and today we're going to be doing an oil change. Now, I've done this before by myself, and I thought I'd just make a video today, because uh, some people out there just want to know how to do an oil change, and uh, this is specifically an oil change for the six banger, the 3.7 liter Jeep WK. I know it's the weak engine, but whatever. I like her engine because it's, it's easy to maintain. Uh, five quarts of oil is decent. I only have to buy it like this little package. And uh, I get it for a grand slam 20 bucks at Walmart, pretty cheap. And I also have a K&N oil filter for her as well. Um, high flow, low restriction design. Yeah, and this part number is PS2009 for anybody who is interested in K&N products. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. This is a 3.7 liter V6 oil change for the Jeep WK. All right, Rocky, let's do this. All right, so first things first, what we're going to have to do over here is pull Rocky out a little bit. Make sure that the vehicle has uh, been not in use for a while, just so that the oil can all drain down into the pan which basically just makes it easier for you to take out all the oil from the engine. And so after backing out Rocky, I already popped her hood from inside. So here she is. And we're just gonna pop her hood up real quick. Just one finger in there, middle finger. Push up. Ta-da, six banger. And like I mentioned, uh, the six banger is just so easy to work with. It's so easy to maintain. That water pump, we didn't even have to move the fan clutch or anything. So that was really simple. And uh, yeah, so that's engine compartments open. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, now for the next part of this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to take out the oil and oil filter without using a jack stand or a jacks. And uh, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna take off Rocky's skid plate first and then we'll have more clearance underneath to just slide down and take out the filter and the oil plug itself. So what you're going to basically need to take off the skid plate for the front suspension is a one and a half inch socket. And this is the skid plate itself. It's four bolts, one connects here, one connects where my finger is, one down there, and then one over here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unbolt those four with one and a half inch socket. Alright, so as you can see that front suspension skid plate is taken out. Now, I'm going to look underneath here. Now the reason why I wanted to take off that suspension skid plate, you don't necessarily need to, but it just adds more about an inch of clearance if you're not using a jack to access the oil pan plug, which is right here. All right, let's get to that next. Now, before we go underneath and unplug the little drain plug underneath Rocky to drain out the oil, we first need to take off this oil cap. So, it's really simple to take off. Hard to do with one hand though. One moment. All right, there you go. I was able to break it and not break it. Sorry. And there you go. Now that is where all the oil is at. <laughs> now it's important to take this off because if you don't, I like to. I take this off first because it's what ends up happening is that if you leave this on while you take out the plug, it's sort of like when you hold the end of a straw and you lift the straw up out of the water and there's fluid in there. So this kind of holds all the oil in the engine like a vacuum. So letting this go, I mean taking this off first, will allow the oil to drain down rather than stick like a straw or like a vacuum. So yeah, take this off first and then unplug the drain plug for the oil. Now, I also wanted to mention, I don't know why the heck this says 5W30. It is not 5W30. It's actually 5W20. Uh, I looked on the 
Juke WK website, it's 5W20. On the instructions manual, it's 5W20. Yet, this thing on her actual engine says 5W30. That makes no sense. I've been running 5W20 for quite a while with Rocky with no issues, absolutely. And 5W30 at... Jeep, Jeep engineers suck. <laughs> All right, so now that that's off, let's, now that that's off, let's go ahead and unplug the oil plug thingy. All right, so I put a flash, put a bigger floodlight under here. So I'm gonna show you where the oil drain plug is at. And it's right here, right under this uh, cross member. Just right there. So we're gonna take that out. And I got a piece of cardboard here and a pan to collect the oil with. Let's go ahead and get started. Finally broke the thread. Guys, that's, that's why you never over tighten things. Uh, okay, so I just broke the, the drain plug. I did not break it, broke it enough so I can just hand the other. Don't, don't over tighten things, please. All right, so now that I loosened it or broke it, I didn't actually break it though. <laughs> so now that I broke that with the half inch socket, it's gonna slowly take this out. Rocky's oil is gonna come out like crazy, but here we go guys, ready? Three, two, one. Ew, ew, Rocky, nasty. Nasty. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it's pretty bad oil. All right, and let me see the gasket on this. Gasket looks pretty good. Looks brand new to me. Uh, this is the gasket, the black part. I should probably clean this first though. Um, but I'm just gonna watch here and wait as Rocky's oil. Basically drips out. There you go, now she's starting to stop. She's starting to stop leaking now, come on. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for her to stop leaking. Afterwards, I'm just gonna clean this. I'll show you what I mean by the gasket. All right guys, so, while Rocky's draining, this is what I mean by a gasket. So this is a drain plug for the oil system, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is the gasket. Just uh, make sure just to check that it's not cracked or broken or anything. And uh, if it's not cracked or anything, like Rocky's is right now, it's good to go to be used again. If it is cracked though, you need to get it replaced or else your oil will just leak again. So now that that's out, let's move on to the oil filter. Right now, before we remove the oil filter, I'm going to teach you what my dad taught me when doing oil changes. And that's, uh, if you're trying to keep your garage clean or the garage floor green, clean. If you want to keep your garage floor clean, you take this gasket temporarily, or I'm sorry, you take this. You know what this is, I'm sorry. I can't speak right now. But you take this little oil plug and you temporarily put it in there for a while. This way, when you remove the filter, this won't drip uh, as long as this plug is here. Just hand tighten it, not too much to just get it stuck. But then you're gonna move this 
over to where the oil filter is, which is what I'm going to do with Rocky. And uh, yeah, it just basically helps you keep your, keep your garage cleaner. And yeah, let's go ahead and move to the filter now, officially. So this is where the oil filter will leak into. That being said, should fall perfectly in there. Cool. And as you can see, this is all Rocky's bubbly oil. Good thing we're changing it now. Okay, now for the Jeep WKs, the 3.7 liter ones at least, the oil filter is this shiny thing that I'm tapping on. See? This whole thing right here. That's the oil filter. Now, I'm going to use a special tool to get that out. So, that... Once I open this filter up, more oil is going to leak. And that's a good thing that I have moved the pan closer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So this, this is just a cheap standard oil filter wrench that I got from O'Reilly's. And what we're going to do is flip this around. Rocky's original oil filter has an interesting mechanism where it clips on like that. And we're going to use it like a wrench just to basically turn this filter over. There are a lot of hoses right by my wrist. Which is making this more difficult. More difficult. Not loose enough yet. And you can see the K&N logo here, because uh, it's the same brand oil filter that I'm going to be replacing too. So this part is identical to the replacement part that I have for Rocky. So it's loose enough for me to turn after that. Once it's loose enough, as you can see there's oil gliding down already. There you go. That is the oil filter, guys. And I'm just going to move it quickly down to the pan. So it's not dripping residue everywhere, but... Okay. Here we go. There is all of the oil, guys. Or at least that should be. Alright. Gonna leave old oil filter here. I'm going to wash my hands real quick and we will go on to getting the new oil filter on. Just a quick comparison of the new oil filter to the old one. Like I said, it's the same brand, same product number. I just bought another one because because uh, it's a good oil filter, yeah? Alright, let's go ahead and use this. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to use the new 5W20 that we have here. And we're basically we're going to have to do something called priming this. So we're just going to put a little bit of oil inside around the edges. And after that, we'll call it good for the oil filter and we'll just put it back on. So yeah, let me just go ahead and prime this real quick. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. Oh, please. Okay, and spread the oil. Spread that oil. Spread that oil. Spread that oil. Up. Around the inside, around the edges. Some in there. Right, 
looks good. All right, so it's primed enough. Let's go ahead and put this oil filter back where it belongs. Got some oil on the serpentine belt, so we're gonna have to clean that too. It's my bad. But yeah, that filter, new filter's in. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that one oil filter tool that I have right here. I'm just gonna retighten everything. Make sure it's snug so that nothing's gonna leak. Make sure not to over tighten though, as I learned with the oil pan plug. Okay, and it's on there. Nice and snug. Yep, coolio. That's it. That is enough for the oil filter. Next thing we're gonna do is retighten that drain plug. Make sure this is on tight mode. Make sure it is. All right. Let's go ahead and tighten this up. So it's on there pretty tight. Let me just uh, turn this off real quick and then make sure that it's tight. And I'll move on to you guys with the next step. All right, guys, cue the final step. Five quarts of 5W20 into the WK Rocky. After that, everything is good to go, basically. All right, and there you have it. That was five quarts of 5W20. This is full synthetic. Got it for 20 bucks. Epic deal from Walmart. All right. Make sure that's all the oil reminiscence I can get. After that, the cap goes back on. This cap. Alright guys, and that was it. That's basically an oil change for 3.7 liter Jeep WK. So Rocky, awesome job, awesome, awesome. I don't know which way you're looking at me, but awesome, yeah. Alright guys, so uh, if you had any questions or comments, let me know. Make sure you do all of this safely. Remember to drop a like, leave a comment. Rocky's oil change once again was successful. I just thought I'd videotape this because why not? For some people who need to change their oil, like uh, Noctul. If you're watching this right now, 
my Jeep buddy in Germany, I believe. Uh, that's that's how I change my Jeep's oil. All right. So, if, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just let me know, and uh, be glad to help. So yeah, that was all without a jack. This only took like 30 minutes, honestly, probably even less. That was a while video recording this. It would have been like 15 minutes if I wasn't recording this. Yeah, guys, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Quadratrack 1 videos, videos of Rocky over here, Jeep vlogs, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, the Valley of Awesome signing out. Peace out.